Hello and welcome to our toggle block pollution containment valve, a little bit of an oversight into how the control panel for our valves work. This control panel will operate from our 150mm valve right up to our 675mm valves, so it's standard design. So let's run through some of the operations. So what we have here is we have a red button which is closing the valve and we have a green button for opening the valve, so we'll just do a cycle. This valve is now in the closed position, you can see by the red LED. What that's telling us now is the valve has reached its closed position. You heard the uh, sounder, the sounder runs through until it's processed that the signal is correct. So even though we got the red LED first, the sounder is, is, is checking that that signal is okay. And then that will transmit an SMS message to the operators to actually tell them that the valve has closed and at what time, potentially who operated it as well, because it can identify mobile phones that may have been used. But you can also say whether it's locally at the panel or whether it was another device, uh, for instance, one of our remote activated call points, which could have activated the valve. So what we do now is we want to open the valve, simple again, reverse, we press the green button. So what we've got now is we've got a green LED, this is telling us that the um, valve is now in the open position. So now let's have a look at the inside, just to go through um, some of the questions that we sometimes get asked about how the system is actually working, so they understand a little bit more about it. So inside it's very, very simple. It's an IP67 uh, box. So what we've got there is we've got a compressor, as you can see. Uh, we have a battery, we have our controller, which is the, basically the brains of the system that works. And then we have our inputs, which are really what most of our um, customers are really interested in. You see here, the white wire is the common wire, the green is indicating the open the valve, and the red is the close the valve. So normally what most sites would do is they would attach these two, the white and the red, which is closed, to an oil interceptor output, a pH output, or a fire alarm output. So allow the valve actually to close remotely from a, a, a remote alarm situation rather than somebody having to come to the unit or use a mobile device to actually activate the system. So that's basically how it works. What we do whenever we're working inside is we always remove the power. So we just disconnect the power. What you'll notice when I've disconnected the power into the valve, that the valve now has no LEDs. So what we call this is now in its setup, it's standby mode. The processor doesn't know really where it is. It doesn't know where the valve is now. So what we have to do once we've done some maintenance, i.e. change the battery, for instance, is we just have to plug the battery back in, which is the battery here. So we've powered this system up. What you'll notice there are no LED lights on. So what we need to do is just get this valve back in its position. So what we can do is we can do a close cycle. We've got now a red LED, so what we've got is we nicely know that the valve is in the closed position. So what we want to do now is just reset it, so we put this one into the open position. So now this valve is now set and ready to run.